Falcon and the Winter Soldier had a lot of potential to be a fun, action-packed Marvel Cinematic Universe entry in a Disney Plus series form. I mean, let's look at the upside to the show, shall we? Of course you've got Sam Wilson, aka Falcon, whose arc has been nice and defined. He's had some good character development along the way. Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. We all know Bucky's story. Bucky to me though is more fun as a killing machine than he as a good guy. Baron Zemo. Excellent villain, a lot of potential within the world of this series. A great opportunity to develop this character further beyond his initial appearance. John Walker, aka US Agent. He's a reluctant replacement for Captain America, but he has a mean streak in his best friend, sidekick, wingman, if you will, Lamar Hoskins, aka Battlestar. Five characters that have the potential to really draw viewers in over what is really a rather abrupt pre planned six episode run, which may get another season but they decided to go in the other direction with it. You know, if this is supposed to be Sam's time to shine, you're not doing the character any favors by continually making him look like a victim of racism every time you turn around. Be it the perceived slight of the government naming a new Captain America after he surrendered the shield to being denied a bank loan, all the way to a ham-fisted scene where he was hassled wrongly by a police officer. We get it, Marvel. You have zero faith in your ability to endear the character to your audience in any way other than to make them a perpetual victim of systemic racism and injustice. The problem is you're not smart enough to disguise what you're really doing. You're projecting, and it's really pulled the thinly veiled attempts at performative virtue signaling into the spotlight more than ever before. Hey Disney, don't look now, but your agenda is showing.